We are tracking some big changes that will take hold as we roll into our weekend forecast. We are noting that our Friday still trends with very similar conditions to what we've had the last few days when it comes down to warm, dry conditions, as well as some of those stronger winds that is bringing a fire threat. So please, please prevent any burning of brush. We will see that these conditions will start to change, though, as we talk about some moisture that is going to be working its way in. And it is coming with a low pressure system that will pass on by Friday into Saturday, ushering in much cooler temperatures for the weekend, but a very rich moisture field that is going to allow for some heavy mountain snowfall and could bring some of that light snowfall accumulation down through some lower elevation spots. Still fine tuning some of those uh, numbers, so do stay tuned for updates. But here's what we're setting up for Friday. Again, still a very warm day, 72 for a high temperature, bringing us more than 15 degrees above normal, nearing some records even. We'll note that it is going to be a breezy afternoon. We'll see that by mid morning we get up to 25 mile per hour gusts and that southerly wind is going to be upwards of even 30 to 40 miles per hour. This is a statewide wind gust. So note that everyone is going to be battling these blustery conditions out of the south promoting that warming. But we are also noting that those strengthening winds out of the south is due to one, a warm front that is pushing its way across the region here early in the morning hours. That's what's bringing a little bit of that cloud cover. Then you know that we're in this very warm and windy field. There's no not much for precipitation throughout much of the daytime by the evening there's a few rumbles of thunder that will be possible as that low pressure system approaches. And then by Saturday morning, there's a low that is just to our north near the Bighorns and then another low down through Cheyenne. So there is this frontal system is called an included front hugging our mountain ranges, and that's going to allow for the bringing brought bringing in of Pacific moisture, which is going to allow for times of some heavy precipitation as we roll into the weekend. Now, this is only a lookout through Saturday. So again, stay tuned as we'll continue to get some updates on these numbers, but we can see east of the divide upwards of a half an inch of accumulation on the board. But what we want to also look at is the snowfall potential as there's not much when it comes down to the numbers that are on the board because a lot of these lower elevation points might stay mostly rain showers. But look at the high reflectivity that's in place there for the Bighorns, as well as for the Laramie Range, the northern Laramie Range up through Casper Mountain. That's where nearly over a foot of snowfall accumulation could be exceeded for uh, for the weekend. So we're going to be keeping an eye on those high impacts, some winter alerts in place, some wind alerts in place. We'll bring you those as they continue to get updated and upgraded with some of those concrete numbers. Because again, we still have another day before the system arrives. We know that again, area wide, these uh, much of the state, I should say, stays very mild. A few thunderstorms possible into the afternoon and evening, and then we do turn to much cooler conditions this weekend as we will battle that storm system through at least Monday.